Greetings, ladies and the gentlemen. We're back. Another episode in the world here. And in the last one, we made this nice little river channel thing. And uh, hopes of it stopping iron golems from spawning too much. Uh, also just adds that much needed contrast, which we, uh, well, obviously, we just said it, we need it. So, I do intend to change, like, the dirt is fine, I think, but I would prefer it to be sand. Sand in the river, sand all over the place, because sand looks good. Uh, currently we don't have enough of that, but it's okay. We'll make it work. And we're going to start off here with building a few uh, simple rocks. Because we need them. Uh, let's head over. Ooh, we don't have any stone, though. Hold on. Wait a minute. And it's weird that I've chosen to texture some rocks and not check texture other rocks. Which, hmm, I don't know. Seems a little sus. Don't know why I'm doing that, actually. Uh, do we have any stone in the cooker? No stone. Mm, that's not good. Uh, let's cook up some stone then. And, oh well, we are waiting for that stone to cook. Let's go check on our potato field. So that we can boil them, mash them, and stick them in a stew at some point. It's gonna be great. Uh, we got our hoe. Boom. And, uh, good. Potato. Eventually, this whole area here will be covered in the potatoes. And we might do the same trick that we did in our other field to get that just right. Because I, I think it looks really good. And I'm talking about this carrot and wheat field over here. Just the patches of wheat growing amidst the carrots is uh, it's really good. And I like it. But we got 29 potatoes to plant. You see the exponential growth is starting to kick in, which is great news. Shouldn't be a too long until we are fully potatoed up. Just a little bit of patience and a little bit of grinding. And we're good to go. And like that. Perfect. All right, so that is all good. We've got all the trees that we need. Uh, we just need the fences in order to make it look really pretty and good we need more stone we need more everything honestly let's go dump everything in our little chest over here and we really need to get rid of this very soon because i know we're going to become very dependent on it and honestly we don't want to do that so let's go uh, shove us some trees we need the wood um, did we leave wood over here? I don't remember. Honestly, don't remember, but I hope everyone is having an amazing day. I know I had a pretty, yeah, yeah it wasn't great. <laughs> Work, you know, sometimes not good, sometimes not great at all. And uh, when that happens, you just kind of got to absorb yourself from it and then come back tomorrow with a, a new attitude even if it's uh, the same stuff that you were dealing with you know gotta try that try to make it better or else you're just gonna repeat and that is not a good thing so we're gonna chop uh, approximately three trees here just get a bunch of fences and uh, we're gonna go we also need a little bit of leaves because we need to build uh, some of these trees out so that we can actually get to this area looking how I would like it to look. So uh, I think we need round about a stack and a half of uh, logs. I don't think we really need that much more for all the fences that we need. And of course we'll use spruce or whatever for the fences. And probably be able to get us uh, about five stacks or so. Of the leafy goodness which will be I don't know if that'll be enough but it will be a start at the very least so uh, let's start getting our leaves 
And I would like to build some trees today. We need them. We're, uh, we're not building enough trees, honestly. And I really want to start this area up here, but I know that I need so many resources to start it that I am kind of pausing on that at this moment just to make sure that we have enough. And little by little, we'll gather those resources and do all those things so that we can build the structure that I've been talking about for a while up here. And I think this will be one of the last buildings that we build over here as well. Maybe a little house or something for the villagers? I don't know. Could be kind of cool. And it looks like uh, there's very little leaves. Well, very little uh, saplings chancing. God, cannot speak today at all. We'll get very little saplings, but this is what I'm trying to say. How many? Ooh, that's a good amount of leaves, though. Perfect. Collect our saplings real quick and seven. That's enough for one more tree. That'll work. Oh, there it is. Perfect. And we do need to start collecting these saplings as well for the decor. I want to sprinkle them all over the place, and I think they look really, really nice. So, yes. Let's grab some spruce, let's make some fences, and let's try to build at least those couple trees, I think. We already have some fences, so that is good. Uh, let's do maybe half of them into sticks, I guess, like that. And then we do some of that so that we can actually make these into log and then we need fences perfect all right that should be enough fences i would like to think let's grab the dirt so we can actually pillar a little bit and our sticks and oh damn there was more stone in there ah okay it's fine we're good we'll make it work also i am really realizing that these need a few over here as well they're just like not high enough and i don't really like that all right let's start with this one here and this is a weird one because it comes out of that and not what we're used to it only comes out of uh, three sides here and that is uh, i don't know if that's good or bad honestly I do know that we need a few up here, though, or else the tree is not going to look right. So let's just do something like that so that we can actually have the tree we deserve and need. And let's get rid of that so we can go ahead and place all of our fences. And it doesn't matter too much, again and again, if you mess up, does not matter at all. Uh, I don't like those connecting like that, honestly. They're not great. That one's okay. Hard to place them. Oh. All right. Let's try not to misplace every single block, please. That'll work. Would you stop placing them? Come on, man. Uh, up here, right there. I know those are going to connect, but it's fine. And this one, I, I just kind of want to test out to see if we can make it look like it is a full tree, even though it is not. Like leaves on this one here. And just kind of see if we can fake it a little bit. Because that would be pretty cool if we are able to do that. That's perfect. And that's good. Yep. All right. So let's try to leaf it and just see what happens, I guess. Uh, let's get rid of that one, I guess. And we'll, of course, hide some lights under here and all of that stuff. 
but we're going to just do our patented technique of going around putting a leaf next to every fence block and then from there we decide how we're going to go. Let's just see. Can we make this work? I don't know. It, it's weird to me because it is not a uh, normal tree like that. It is just three-sided, so it's going to be a little different than all of the other trees that we make like this. But should work out just fine as long as we do a sufficient job leafing. That's right there. And then once you do all of that, then you can come back through and add the bits and bobs. That's right there. Oh, I can't put it there because a fence. Nice. Something like this over here. I guess we'll put one there. And just kind of do that. And we just want to go up and up and up is really the way to make these trees. I'm not saying they are great trees by any stretch of the imagination either, but I think they do work pretty well with just about every scenario that you can do. So uh, that's why we do it. That is why we do it. And I do think it looks good though in the end. While you're building it, it looks kind of frou-frou weird, but once you get it going, I think it actually makes some kind of sense. And then this side does not really matter, I don't think. Uh, we'll do a couple more just so that we have the branches, though. Like a so. Cover this up. Put a fence here and here, sure. Didn't mean to put one there. It's fine. And then we also need to cover as many of the logs as we can up here because we don't want to see them. Like that, that, that. And lastly, cover up that. And it's good, I think, right? Let's take a look, see how it feels, see if we're doing everything correct. I... Hmm, I actually really like that. Uh, the whole idea of it being uh, kind of crooked like that makes me very happy. Uh, I don't know if that one was there or not. My bad. Okay, let's go ahead, bring up this, and do the other leaf work. Should make it so that we can have our droopy leaves and... All is good in the world. Really, what is a tree without the droopy leaves, to be completely honest? That. And I kind of want to do some up here as well. Just like that, just a little bit. And drag it down from the mountain. And then I think we need to get some on the left-hand side of it as well. But that should make it look pretty good, I think. Yeah, definitely need some over here. It is a very barren. Nope. Nope. Let's try something like that. And I like those where they connect together, too. Not sure why, but it just looks and feels right. Alright, let's take a step back real quick to see how that feels. Oh, yes. So I think we got to do a lot less leaves on these here in the actual picture because if we don't, yeah, like it's a tiny tree we made here. Good. Very tiny. Let's add a little bit of root system, though, because, you know, we still need that. Got to have some kind of roots. All right. Let's see if we can just do a few branches here on this small tree. I 
does it work the same as the other trees that have winding paths? I'm not really sure. But I'd like to think that it does. Okay, let's give that a go. Uh, I guess we start from the top and work our way down on this one. Beautiful. Look at that. Do that. And can we just apply the same concept that I would? I don't know. But it feels kind of like we can. In this case, we are going to do that, and then how do we make this work? Do we just throw a couple more in here? Do something like that. And then we just kind of follow the leaf branches down, maybe. But kind of not as much. Hmm. I'm not sure about that. That'll work, I guess. And did we have one more branch down, or was that it? We did have one more branch. Cool. So like that, and then we need to get over here. Place just both of those, and that one, that one, and that one. And that should be all for that little tree. I think it'll work. Let's take a look. Kind of blends in together. Like you're never really going to notice it. And then if we do some kind of weird trickery back here as well, in the openness that you see, we can make this work, I think. Oh, hello. But uh, that's going to do it for me today. Thanks so much for watching. And until next time, ciao.